For NFL prospects, the NFL Draft Combine serves as an opportunity to showcase their athletic abilities and skills to scouts in hopes to raise their draft stock. And in this video, we're going to look at seven players who improved their draft stock at the recent Combine. Let's get right into it. First, we'd be remiss not to mention a wide receiver who made history with his lightning speed. The wide receiver class of 2024 is absolutely stacked. And a few names have overshadowed Xavier Worthy, a blazing fast wide receiver from Texas. But that's going to change after he broke the all-time combine record by running a 4.21 second 40-yard dash at the combine. Despite the fact that he's still only 21 years old and was an elite stat producer in college, concerns linger regarding his slight frame. This raises questions about his ability to handle the physicality of the NFL, particularly in contested catches and when facing press coverage. However, Worthy compensates with high-level route running as well as off-the-chart speed and agility. It's not like Worthy was being completely overlooked, but we all know speed burns at the NFL level, and after the combine, on paper, Worthy should be the fastest dude in the league. His speed won't only make him hard to stop, it'll force defenses to adjust their coverage while he's on the field, which will also create extra space for his teammates. Though their record-breaking performance is impressive to say the least, it doesn't actually change Worthy's draft stock too much on our board, as he was already highly coveted. But you've got to wonder if a team jumps on him in the first round after his spectacular showing. And speaking of speed, up next is a linebacker who showed off some impressive legs of his own. Edrin Cooper is a dynamic linebacker who played at Texas A&M. While Cooper wasn't projected as a top linebacker before the combine, his results in both the 40-yard dash and 10-yard split won't be overlooked. Standing at 6'3 and 230 pounds, Cooper's ripped and has ideal length, but is a bit undersized for his position. He's a freakish athlete who is extremely productive in college, and he often makes highlight reel hits that made fans' hearts skip a beat. He's got great sideline to sideline range, which made him a disruptor in both run defense and pass coverage in college. Cooper possesses a knack for recognizing plays quickly and can navigate through crowded areas, which allowed him to make plays behind the line of scrimmage. He has the power and burst to blitz quarterbacks and the speed and quickness to cover running backs as well. Though there are some concerns about his size and technical skills, his combine results along with his stats and film could catapult him into the first two rounds come draft time. And the same could be said about the next prospect in our video, Chop Robinson. Robinson, who's a defensive end from Penn State, didn't record as many sacks in college as some of his peers, but his eye-popping performance at the Combine has propelled him into the first-round conversation. Chop stands at 6'3 and weighs 254 pounds. He lacks ideal length for the position, but he's got elite speed and explosiveness as proven by his combine results. In fact, he finished top two amongst edge rushers in both the 40-yard dash and 10-yard sprint. The only other player that measured similarly to him was Dallas Turner, who's the top-rated edge rusher available. Chop definitely needs coaching, but for a team looking for an elite upside with high upside in the back end of the first round or in the second round, Chop fits the bill. And next, we have a prospect who was amongst the most productive statistically at his position in college, but that wasn't enough to rank him near the top of the draft board. We're talking about Braden Fisk. Fisk, a defensive tackle who transferred from Western Michigan to Florida State, initially projected as a late-round draft pick due to concerns about his length, flexibility, and age. However, his performance at the NFL Combine is going to drastically improve his draft stock and make teams take a second look. At 6'3 and 297 pounds, Fisk's lack of ideal size raised red flags for some teams, but he's got a ridiculously high motor, which he combines with impressive explosiveness and strength. He spent most of his college career dominating at Western Michigan, but transferred to Florida State for his senior season to prove he could still dominate against higher competition, which he did. Despite his stellar play, his limitations have kept him in the back half of most mock drafts, but Fisk put on a show at the NFL Combine. He led all defensive tackles in the 40-yard dash, vertical jump, broad jump, and 20-yard shuttle. He displayed remarkable lower body explosiveness and paired it with a solid showing in the bench press and on-field drills. Now all of a sudden, teams are going to have to take a second look at his tape. He might not have the physical traits of a traditional run-stopping defensive tackle, but his mobility, explosiveness, and relentlessness could make him a little more versatile than scouts had previously been giving him credit for. And in many ways, the same thing could be said about Cole Bishop. Bishop has been a consistent playmaker throughout his entire college career at Utah. However, questions have been raised about his ability to keep up as a deep safety in the pros due to his perceived lack of range. 
At six foot one and 209 pounds, Bishop packs a surprising punch. His instincts and awareness are his calling cards, allowing him to diagnose plays like a seasoned veteran and react with lightning speed. He's a high motor machine who makes plays on the ball all over the field. Whether it's contributing in run support, flying to the blitz, or making plays in coverage, Bishop always seems to have his fingerprints all over the final game box score. However, limitations exist. Bishop might lack the deep frame and elite speed coveted in top-tier deep safeties. He lacks some fluidity that could make guarding NFL receivers a tough task. But still, Bishop's strengths are impossible to ignore. He's terrific in man coverage against tight ends and thrives as a box safety closer to the action. He's that dude that can jump a play and separate receivers from the ball on third down. Bishop's instincts have helped him prevail as a versatile defensive weapon week in and week out for Utah, and he did his draft stock justice at the Combine by scoring well in every test he participated in at the Combine. Hopefully for him, those results alleviate some of the fears about his weaknesses and a team decides to snag him in the first three rounds of the draft. While Bishop's combine didn't break the charts, it should prove at the least that he has the athletic ability to compete at the next level. But up next, we have a player that did break the charts. When we released our video about our five favorite tight ends in the 2024 draft, one player we left off the list was Penn State's Theo Johnson. But after straight up dominating at the combine, scouts will definitely take a closer look at him. Theo Johnson is huge. He's six foot six and weighs in at 257 pounds. But what makes him so intriguing is his mobility at that size. He became the first tight end since 1987 to run a sub 4.6 second 40 yard dash and jump over 39 inches vertically, all while exceeding 255 pounds. Those are the type of numbers that could make him a nightmare matchup even at the NFL level. Johnson has always been hyper athletic though. He was heavily recruited out of high school before committing to Penn State. And despite his size and athleticism, he didn't make much of an impact statistically at the college level. He remains very raw without any proof of concept in any aspect of the game, but any dude who's that tall and that large with speed and quickness that compares to NFL wideouts is going to be compelling to scouts in the middle rounds of the draft. Will a team be so intrigued that they opt to snag him in round three? We'll have to wait and see. In contrast to Johnson, we close out our video with a prospect who didn't get any looks coming out of high school, but put his name on draft boards with his consistent production. We're talking about a player who we did mention as one of our favorite tight end prospects, Ben Sennett. Sennett was a walk-on who earned his playing time at tight end for Kansas State by constantly working hard and refining his skills. In terms of production as a receiver, he ranks as the third best tight end available, behind only Brock Bowers and Jatavion Sanders. Sennett's strengths lie in his versatility and route running ability. He possesses a diverse route tree, allowing him to line up in various formations and create separation from defenders. He has reliable hands and he exhibits good instincts, especially on difficult catches. As a blocker, he demonstrates awareness and technical soundness that enables him to contribute effectively in a variety of blocking schemes. But he still holds the reputation as a college overachiever who lacks NFL athleticism and strength partially due to his lack of pedigree coming out of high school. However, at the Combine, he rated as the top tight end in the vertical leap and the broad jump, showcasing explosive lower body strength. Additionally, he recorded the best time on the three-cone drill amongst tight ends and finished third in the 20-yard shuttle, highlighting advanced mobility and footwork. We already told our viewers that his rise to start him at the college ranks should not be overlooked by NFL scouts, and after putting on a show at the Combine, it's possible that teams are going to realize that his stats in college were no fluke. At this point, it's hard not to think that he won't have the skills and intangibles to be used as a depth NFL tight end, but it's possible that teams are still overlooking his advanced abilities as a pass catcher as the tight end position has evolved over time. We're hoping that his combine results propel Senate from the sneaky sleeper category to a guy that's worthy of a third or fourth round selection. But we want to know what you guys think. Which prospects impressed you the most at the combine? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more sports news and insights. Thanks for watching and see you next time.